Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Idiots in Space. Yes, I love this game. I love this game so much. So in the last episode, we started working on this grinder ship here, and I wanted to build it on camera because I didn't build amp or volt on camera. So I just wanted to throw up the basic design that I did with these ships and just give a general idea of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. All right, so we have our conveyor here that's connected up to our grinders here through this medium cargo container here. Who? That could get a little complicated, but uh, that's, you know me, I like that stuff. And of course I just logged in, so I lost like everything in my uh, hot bar. Welder grinder screw everything else i need a large reactor and for the large reactor it's actually kind of small for the small ship so clicky i need steel plate of course i need steel plate why else you know what what, what was i thinking i had did it was i thinking i had stuff in my inventory from the last time i played this game i mean what is wrong with me boop okay so make sure that these connect Boop. That's not connecting. It's a little jumpy. But it's... I'm quite surprised how well this game seems to run. Considering. You know, considering what this game is doing. And, you know, these textures are actually kind of high res. I mean, they look fairly high res. Granted, I'm not 100% sure what people qualify as low-res textures. To me, personally, these look freaking gorgeous. I love the polished metal look. I don't like how the metal's all scraped up. I think it would be better is if you put down a new block for the first time, it's a pristine block, perfect paint job, but as you repair it, it gets damaged. I think that would be better, but I could also imagine that that would involve a considerable amount of programming and uh pro er, programming and processor power so i imagine it would be a pain in the ass okay so i have the cargo container i have the reactor so the next thing i need is a way to connect the connector here to the system now i'm going to try Nah, screw it. I'm going to do it exactly the same way I have on amp here. And the way I have on amp here, boop, is that I tore out the middle of the ship. Is this me, or does this seem to be taking a little bit longer than it normally does? I mean, it's at least it's not like uh, the welding in the last episode where it took, you know, forever. Like, 20 minutes. Crap, I can't reach that one. Um... Crap, I need one more. Oh, uh, okay, how do I get there? Um, uh, it's what you get when you don't plan ahead. Gotta plan ahead. You always gotta plan ahead. Alrighty. I guess technically I didn't need that conveyor right there. You know, technically I'm right. I didn't need the conveyor there because what I did need was uh, just a straight tube, and I could connect it outside. Yeah. Boop. Because that will give me the connection between that and the front, and then I just need more tubes. So small tubes, curved tubes, and let's just put the conveyor there. So I need nine. Uh, small tube. Oh, I need interior plate. Boop, 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 boop. I love how I keep everything in amp now. I have everything available to me. Boop. Wee. Plunk. All right, so small tube, small tube. I think I need a small tube here, and then I need another conveyor there, if I remember correctly. Um. Yes, bullseye it. I'm so glad when I bullseye these things. And then I need a... Straight tube here. Uh, let's see, page down. And then another conveyor here. 
yeah, I'm duplicating conveyors at this point. I have a connection over here, and I have a connection over here, but I don't need the... I don't need one of them. Oh, I just had a thought. Go away. If I don't need this conveyor up front because it doesn't do anything, and it's not going to do anything really important, what I can do boop, is put a straight tube here, uh, home, and then a beacon in there, in this two-part er, two section right there. And then that way I can have my beacon to keep track of where this ship is. And it's nicely, you know, shaped. So let's put the reactor back again for the third time. Whew. And let's actually just solder all this stuff up. Or weld all this stuff up. Why do I keep saying solder? I don't know. Whee. And I'm trying to take off in a way that doesn't damage my roof here. Though, I know me. That doesn't last all that long. Whee. I wonder if this will be glitched again. Because this is always so terribly, terribly glitched. I mean, I love this game. And I know it's alpha, so I give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it's glitched, but at least it's playable. But I really can't wait until they fix some of these bugs. <laughs> I mean, I know they're working on it. And I, from what I've seen, they're actually putting some serious effort into this game. I mean, a lot more effort than a lot of the games that I've seen. You know who you are. But, uh, yeah, I'll be glad when it's actually release quality. Of course, it's in alpha, so that might be a very, very long time. I don't know, how long was Minecraft in alpha? A year or two, maybe? Well, it was like if dev, and then in dev, and then alpha, and then beta, and then release... Or something like that. Honestly, I don't know. I don't think I actually connect or joined with Minecraft until uh, Beta 1.4, if I remember correctly. I don't remember, really. Is this not doing anything? Oh, it is doing something. It's just taking forever. Is it taking forever because I'm welding so much, or is it broken again? I hate it when it does this. I can't tell. I really wish... We had a progress bar over these things. I know, like I said before, I know this would be kind of complicated. But I would really, really appreciate a progress bar when you're in a welding ship. I really would. Just a small little progress bar over everything that you're welding. That way you can get a general idea of how far it's going. Nothing major. Nothing like when you're doing it by hand. And you can actually see what parts you need. Just when you're... You know, just a little tiny progress bar. Nothing, nothing big. You know, nothing major. I think it's functional, and I'm just waiting for it to finish itself. I think. I'm not sure. Hi, Kitty. Wait, did I do something wrong? I did something wrong. Yeah, I did something wrong here. Um... I'm just picturing how the ship is built in my head, and I just realized I did do something seriously wrong. Um, boop. And I will show you as long as I don't fall to my death. Okay, so I connected this conveyor here with the general idea that it would also connect to a uh, medium cargo container. Uh, medium cargo container. Okay. So as we can see with the medium cargo container, we have a small connector on the side, the page down side, if you look at the little helpful hint in the upper right hand corner, on the page down side, we can see the small connector. And on the delete side, we see the large connector. Okay? But if I want to connect to a connector like I have on AMP, I need a large connector. And that's why I'm using the medium cargo container because there's, as far as I know, there's no other converters kind of ish. Uh, so what I've got to do is actually turn this page down and then rotate it, insert. That way the connector is actually at the bottom, the small connector is at the bottom, and the big connector is out the back. Boop. All right. And this conveyor is now utterly worthless, 
but at least I have a beacon now. It's kind of hard to cram all these small things in there. Uh, but what I do need to do, I need to go back into my tubage. Pop you there. And then... No. I'm not going to connect that way, so I am just going to use... Um, page up, page up. The corner tube right there. So the idea is that the conveyor system goes back into the second medium cargo container and then the large connector back here connects to the connector no x not c Boop. and then we weld all this crap up again now the reason i'm doing this is actually spawned from a test that i did with amp here the idea was that maybe the connector doesn't work with its little port it only works with the big port so we need some kind of converter between the two systems between the large connectors and the small connectors well as far as i know of the only converter like that that isn't a connector is the medium cargo container which again i'm using over here with the welders plop okay and then we get our connector out here connector all right, we can see that it does have the small connectors on it. In fact, I think it has it, yes, on all four sides, but I couldn't get it to work before. Uh, lined you up right. I did. And is there anything else I need to do? No, I don't think there is, at least not to get this thing working. Ooh, might help if I actually put thrusters everywhere. So I can actually build things. Hang on. I need... Let's see. Uh, where's my thrusters? Thrusters, thrusters. Again, I'm getting lost. I mean, it, I've been playing this for how long and I'm still getting lost in this game? Let's see. Uh, page up. I need large steel tube. Of course I need large steel tube. Why didn't I think of that? Large steel tube. Let's put... Oh, I don't know. 20 in there just in case. So we'll put a large steel tube there. That way I have two pointing up. Do I have two pointing down? I think I do on the, yes, on either side of the conveyor tube there. So I have two pointing up, I have two pointing left, two pointing right, two pointing down. And then I will have four pointing backwards. But again, I don't want to put them on the actual back of the ship. Like I could put them right beside the uh, cargo container right there, but I don't want to do that because then I risk damaging what I'm trying to connect to. And we don't want to do that, obviously. We don't want to damage our ships. And here I am saying, I don't want to damage my ship, and I'm bouncing the welders off of the cargo container. Yeah, that can't be helpful. Okie dokie. Let's see, what else do I need to do? Well, I need to put the shell on the side here. Come on. There we go. And then once I put the shell on the side, then I can attach the rear-facing... Uh, crap, the rear-facing thrusters. Whew, I cannot talk. And yes, in case you're curious, I am very aware that the Keller is wrong on these parts, but I can always color them later. So I'm not terribly worried about it. Okay. One there, one there, one there, one there. Boop, boop, boop. And this is just a general outline of the shape of the ship for right now. I have every intention on rounding out the corners like I do. You know, making them flat or something. I just haven't gotten there yet. Or not flat, uh, uh, well, angled. I guess that's the word I'm looking for, is angled. But I usually try to get the shell together. Are you kidding? Ah. Oh. I am an idiot. I used the wrong thing. I used the one that has the corner cut out of it for all of these blocks. That is very annoying. I am kind of an idiot. Why didn't you guys tell me? Seriously, why did nobody tell me? You 
bastards. I kid, of course. I'm the bastard, bastard for being stupid and not actually paying attention to what I was doing. Oy. Bing, bing, bing. It's almost like music. Whoa, there goes one. Bye-bye. I really wish you were affected by gravity and not just floating away right now. Mostly because I could have some serious fun and actually play with gravity. All right. Uh, but I need to be on three, not on six. Let's try this again. You get the general idea of what I'm trying to do. So I think I will just cut back to when I'm done with it because, you know, I've already done it. Alrighty, Boxy is done here. Very, very Boxy. He looks like a box truck. I mean, he does. It's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just he looks like a box truck. Alright, so one last thing that I need to do, and that is to tack some rear-facing thrusters on it. Uh, page up. And I am just going to tack them on the side here. Nothing too... Whoa. I'm getting frame issues? Yep, I'm getting that weird glitch where if you have... If it's floating on something, it kind of starts slowing the system down. It's not as bad as it normally is, but it can get pretty bad. Ooh. I've only ever noticed that on servers, though. I've never noticed that on the clients. Uh, yep, there it goes. Everything seems very, very sluggish. It's not because I'm hitting anything. It's just it's running slowly. The client seems to be processing at only half speed or something like that. I don't get it. Um... It happens a lot faster than it normally does. I just logged in right before I started this video. Normally it takes like an hour or two for that thing to happen. I wonder if it's because I'm welding so much, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. How's that thruster almost... Or how's that thruster finished, but the other thruster isn't even started yet? Ooh, jumpy, jumpy. I mean, I'm... It's not my frame rate. My frame rate is fine. It's going between 30 and 50. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why this is not working like it's supposed to. Well, okay, I can take a wild guess as to why it was not working like it's supposed to. Supposed to. It's an alpha. Yeah, that would make sense, I guess. I swear some days this actually is faster just to get out and weld by hand. I tend not to like doing that because I don't want to record that. Urgh, so sluggish. Ooh. Drop. Alright, let's try this. And I'm just going to cut till I finish welding these things because who the fuck wants to be blinded? Alrighty, and that's the basic shell of our new ship. Basic. Very, very, very basic shell. Like I said, I have every intention on switching it up, making it look different. Uh, just, you know, flattening off the corners. I plan on pulling out the, uh, the, the, the sidewall along here. That kind of thing, you know? Uh, I need power, so I need uranium. Uranium, uranium. Where is all my uranium stored? 225 ingots. Well, I think five should be way more than enough. I should be able to access everything from back here. Let's see if you glitch. Yep, you're glitched right there. I can't get into grinder. Oh, no, this is uranium. It wouldn't go into the grinder, so it's not glitched at the moment. And we have power. Bloop. All right, now the first thing I should do is take off the parking brake. Lift you up a bit. Oh! Wait, something's wrong here. I have thrusters right there. Why am I not stopping? Don't I have thrusters right there? Did I miss this forward-facing thrusters? Am I that big of a freaking idiot that I forgot the f thrusters facing forwards? Yes, I seem to have. Okie dokie. Boop. 
Yeah, I kind of forgot to put the thrusters in that are facing forwards. Um, and this ship is just going off without me. Let's see, you need to be page up, page up. Boop. Going to put the thrusters right there just because that's where the power is. Quickly, quickly, quickly over to amp to weld them up while this thing very slowly floats away. Oh, I got that freaking glitch again. It wasn't there before. But now, look out. Everything's going so damn slow. Everything's just so sluggish. I hate this glitch. Come on, just finish this up to the point where it's actually stationary. Come on. There we go. Now you should be still. Yes. Just one thruster, but it's enough. It's enough to do what I need to do because a combination of the other thrusters pointing in the other directions and the gyroscope will actually keep it stable even with one thruster on one side of the center of mass. Now that's actually accurate. You can do that. Uh, this frame rate, or these frame rate drops that you're seeing, hopefully you're seeing because I sure as am seeing them, is not due to my video card or anything like that. Not as far as I can tell. This is actually happening in game. And now it works perfectly. The hell. Told you it was in-game, it's not my video card. I don't know. I don't think other people are having this problem. Maybe it is just my video card. I'm not sure. Alright, so now if I push forward, I stop. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's test this thing out. Pull down the grinder as a weapon. Switch to weapon type grinder. All right, so let's take a look at this thing real quick. We got a medium cargo container. We got a medium cargo container two. The connector, two grinders, which yeah, the grinders are here, which hold almost twice as much as the cargo containers, and then the large reactor. So nothing major really. But I just like the idea that I can do this when I get an extra ship. I can just start tearing it out for spare parts. Pop. Is this ship rotating? No, it stopped. Okay. I want, I, I, if I was going to tear apart this ship, I would want to take out the thrusters and the gyroscope last. That way the ship stays still while I'm flying. Hey, look, it's a business shipment. But I already have a business shipment. I need another solar sail, or a private sail. Because mine disappeared for some reason. I don't know where it went. It was floating here. But I don't know where it went. Not terribly fast grinding these things. But uh, it should work, I guess. One would hope. One would think. Would it make a sense to put a light on the front of this thing? Probably not. Just want to finish grinding this, and I'm going to show you why I actually built this the way that I did. Once. Come on. Finish tearing this thing apart. Again. A just little indication of how far I'm through well or grinding would be really nice. Just to give me a general idea. I mean, it's not important. Not terribly, terribly important, because obviously... If it's still there, it's not ground down to nothing. But just a general idea of how fast it's going, especially with my little glitch that I get. And, uh, you know, how far along I am. That would be really, really nice. Okay, so I have all of this stuff in my inventory now in the medium cargo container. So what can I do with it? Well, I could go and manually put it into the large cargo container I have inside, but then I'd have to park the ship... I'd have to... Okay, something's screwing with me. Okay. Because I just noticed this. Okay, see how this just says Beacon here? Name, Beacon. At the bottom of my screen, 
I'd make it go away, but I can't. Hang on, let's just get out. All right, you see how it says IIS Beacon? IIS I'm back, baby. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. No, uh, in I factions. We have a faction tag named IIS. Idiots in space. <laughs> Player numbers. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. Um, I wonder if that's like personal information. I should probably blur that out. Um, hopefully I'm smart enough to blur that out. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so anyways, um, so I would have to either manually take all of the stuff out of the inventory here and put it in the larger cargo container, which if I have the medium cargo container full, the medium cargo container two full, and both of the grinders full, that would take forever. I could put it over there into that connector, as we saw. Or, you know what? We could just... I guess... I'd make a joke, but it'd be in poor taste, and I ain't gonna do it. Other people can infer the joke that I was gonna make. Whoa. No? Ugh, come on. There we go. Boop. No. P. I. And, yeah, medium cargo container, medium cargo container. So what I can do is just click and drag these things to the correct cargo containers. Oh, there it goes. It glitched. Though I think that's just in general a glitch. Um, nope, I can't even move it to my medium cargo container 2 or the connector. This is the glitch that I was telling you about. Um, where every now and then the tubes, like the small tubes, don't work. So the small tubes between the medium cargo container and the medium cargo container 2, it, it's like they're not connected or anything. I can take the uranium and move it into medium cargo container 2. Oh, and I can move it into medium cargo container 1. Bloop. But I can't take anything out of medium cargo container one. Oh, now I can. See, this is what I was talking about, about glitches being a pain in the ass. Or is it just pissy with the solar sails? Maybe it's just pissy with some items. Like, maybe the solar sails can't go through small tubes. Ah, but the steel plate, that doesn't make any sense because I know steel plates can. Yeah, it's kind of hit or miss. Um... If I do this, let's see, I want to put everything into amp over here. Whee! So let's see if I can do this. Into here. So I can still see everybody's stuff. So I can see the stuff from the other ship, the new grinder ship over here. I can't click and drag. But I could just double click everything in. <laughs> So it qualifies as the connectors are actually connected. But, yeah, it's not like they're directly connected or something. I, I don't get it. Um, and in case you're curious, let's see, how can I test this? How can I test this? Ooh, I know exactly how I can test this. All right. Let us go inside Boop. the City 17 station. Upstairs, I have a perfect way to test this. Or at least show that I'm not crazy. Alright, so I built this medical station here. The medical room. Just for a place to spawn inside the station instead of spawning in the two ships over there. Um, no, wait. Can I not do this? Okay, I appear not to be able to do this at all through here. Okay, there it is. Alright, so now I can see all of the stuff in everything that's attached to the station. But, as you can see, the medical room here... 
scoop this entryway here doesn't have a tube attached to it. It's just the medical room, completely separate room, because as far as I know, the medical room doesn't actually require any parts, so why connect it to anything if it doesn't need to be connected? All right, so I can see everything, but I can't move anything into my inventory. I mean, I can move things around, but I can't pull things in my inventory because the tubes aren't connected. But I also can't double-click. I'm trying to double-click into my inventory, but I can't. So if the tubes aren't connected to what you're looking at, the inventory of what you're looking at, you can't, you can't double-click things in at all. So it is a slight glitch. Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, I'm upstairs. That is not the way downstairs. That is the cargo room. Um... Yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, you can't double-click things into your inventory if it's not actually connected to the tube system. So the whole small tubes break every once in a while is a glitch, uh, as we just found. It's not actually supposed to happen. I'm curious as to what happens if I do this. Parking brake off. Pull! Okay, that one stayed stationary. Okay. I was worried I'd just pull it along and I'd be stuck to amp forever. <laughs> I'd have to, like, park it and... You know, uh, uh... Yeah, park it and then forcefully remove it and all that fun crap. Alrighty. Boop. Boop. Uh, what do I have to finish up here? I have to finish welding those. And I need another landing gear. But outside of that, I'm good. I need construction components, of course. Didn't think I didn't need it. I just didn't know what exactly I needed. That is not what I clicked on. Just one. Because I will bring over amp and weld away. Boop. Zero. I do like how there is constantly a uh, slot, the zero slot in your hotbar that's just your hands and nothing else ever. I really, really like that. I always like I always like playing in Minecraft to have one slot in my hotbar that's empty or at least has something very, very simple like a stick, something you can't use for anything else. That way I can right-click on things and I don't have to worry about using something. But I do generally actually like having an empty hand when playing the game. Okay, so... Bloop. This ship is complete. Well, functional anyways. Has all of the bits and pieces needed. Like I said, I'm going to make the shell look a little bit more rounded, a little bit smoother, like it does over there, like Amp does. Um, but before I end this episode... Let us do one final thing, and let us name this guy. And since we have Volt and we have Amp, Watt. Wait, Watt? Or is it... Shit, I gotta look it up. Okay. Alright, this is just me not being able to spell. This is perfectly normal for me. It is W-A-T-T. -T, which I didn't know there were two T's at the end of Watts, so... Uh, whatever. So, we have Volt, we have Amp, and we have Watt. I like it! I like it a lot. Alright, so I shall see you guys in the next episode. And I will say, as always, keep playing the game. And have fun. And I really, really, really love how you can just look around. Though things are way, way too damn bright. One would think that if you're in space with the very harsh radiation of the sun. With nothing to protect you. Like no ozone or magnetic field or anything like that. One would think you would be wearing a shielded mask. A, a visor. 